Hi everyone, my name is April and this is Thrifted Transformations, the show where I go thrifting for old clothing and transform them into something new. In this episode, I found two dresses at the thrift store that matched in color and thought it would be fun to combine them together to create a one-of-a-kind prom dress. The total cost of the two dresses is $27. Let's get started. First, I hand washed the dress because there was a lot of stains at the bottom of the skirt. They didn't completely go away, but now they aren't as noticeable anymore. The first day of dress transformations is mostly spent on seam ripping, and I always start with seam ripping the zipper. Then I seam rip the lining from the right side of the dress and remove the boning. When deconstructing a dress, you want to be very careful not to waste any material because you might need to reuse it later. This is what the construction of the bodice looks like underneath the chiffon layer. Now I'm going to sew that diagonal seam back together so the center front can be one piece again. After that, I seam rip the bodice apart so I can resize each piece to fit me. First, I'm fitting the lining bodice on my mannequin and then I can use it as a pattern piece to resize the top bodice layer as well. After making sure the bodice fits me, I can now cut out all the pieces from the lining and actual bodice. Once everything is cut out, I can sew all the pieces back together. Next, sew the boning casings into the seams of the bodice lining. For the back piece of the bodice, I had to move it up since my alterations moved the location and then I just blended out the top and bottom pieces to match everything up. After sewing all the bone casings into the seams, I can now insert the plastic bones back into their cases. Make sure to trim each one to fit the bodice first. Next, I can start the front bodice design. Taking the original chiffon pieces, I'm going to sew the seams back together. Then lay the chiffon over the front bodice like how it originally was and base stitch the front down. Now we can take the second dress and separate the 3D floral fabric from the rest of the dress. Fold the floral lace so that the raw edges are hidden and lay it diagonally over the chiffon. Pin the fold in place, then grab a hand sewing needle and matching thread and sew it down along the diagonal fold using a slip stitch. After that, I can trim away the extra material underneath. Pin
Pin down the rest of the floral fabric along the edge of the bodice and baste stitch it down. For the chiffon side of the bodice, I'm going to regather the back side and baste stitch everything in place as well. Now that the bodices are complete, it's time to move on to the skirt. The skirt has two linings underneath. One is used behind the chiffon fabric so it won't be transparent, and the other one is for the actual lining. I'm going to seam rip all the layers of the skirt apart, and then regather the chiffon skirt separately. Next, I fitted the underskirt and lining skirt to fit me and then decided how short I wanted to cut it. Now I can sew the chiffon skirt back onto the underskirt, but first I need to hem the raw edges of the slit. I'm not going to go into detail with how I hem the chiffon, but I'm thinking about doing a more technical sewing tutorial after each transformation episode, so if you are interested in watching that, please leave me a comment down below. Once the opening of the chiffon skirt is hemmed, I base stitched it onto the fitted skirt. After the skirt is sewn together, I can now attach it to the bodice. Then we can also attach the lining skirt to the lining bodice. Now the two layers are ready to be sewn together, lay the two bodices right sides together and sew along the top of the bodice. Next, I went ahead and inserted the invisible zipper, and again, I won't be going into detail on this, but I am thinking about doing a separate tutorial or Q&A after my transformations, so let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that. Once the zipper is sewn, I can sew the rest of the skirt and lining closed. Lastly, I shortened the chiffon skirt a couple inches because it's a little long on me. Here is the final transformation. You take me down 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't found a prom dress yet or if you have a special event to go to, I challenge you to go thrifting for a couple of items from the thrift store and see what unique dress you come up with. As usual, don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel for more thrifted transformations. And if you haven't seen my last episode, you can click here. Or if you want to watch all my thrifted transformations, you can click here. See you in my next video. Bye! It took my heart and showed me how time was moving slowly